Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, a question for, uh, for you, Mr. Ambassador. Uh, we have recently uh, deployed about 100 uh, military advisors uh, that could cross between Uganda, Rwanda, and the Congo um, to advise. Uh, maybe they can get involved in other things as well, but uh, can you tell us about the progress, how we would measure the progress? Is there a timetable on this? Will it expand? Thank you very much, uh, Congressman, for your question. Uh, in our last testimony, of course, we had uh, with um, uh, Assistant Secretary Birchbaugh of Department of Defense, we explained uh, the process of assigning up to 100 Special Forces members uh, in the role of training, not so much in combat role, but in training and support uh, for the troops of the CAR um, and uh, Uganda and Congo. Uh, in order to go help them have the capacity and capability to go after uh, Joseph Kony, Odiembo, uh, and the others uh, in the LRA process. Uh, it's, we're approaching, as you know, the 150-day mark for a review of the process, and at that time I think we'll have more information for you. As far as uh, uh, training, I think the training process is going, to w going through extremely well. Uh, but the question comes in uh, is, well, when, when are they going to get Kony? When is this going to come to an end? And I think we have to look at it as a very long-term process, uh, but that our role in this is really a very small part in the sense that it's, it's training, because ultimately it's going to be the Congolese, Ugandans, and the CIR themselves who are going to bring this to a conclusion. Our role is to support. We did file a War Powers uh, Act request and we thank you very much for your support uh, and on this process. Uh, the uh, mission is defined more than simply taking out uh, Mr. Coney. Is that, is that true? That's, that's correct. The, the main function is to build the capacity, the training, and the support uh, to give them the capabilities and enhanced capabilities uh, to carry this out. But again, it's a comprehensive approach. Not only is it militarily, but also it's to bring in other programs, such as AID has a cell phone uh, program, which provides cell phones and communications to local communities, which th through the cell towers constructed by USAID, they can, communities can communicate with each other to say where maybe potential attacks are being taking place by the LRA. As you know, it's very, very difficult to, uh, to go after the LRA. It's, you're talking 150 to 200 troops operating in a size less than the size of Colorado. It's a very huge, immense area. Uh, I yield back. Thank you. Uh, 